When I moved to LA, I didn't know what the path was gonna be. I just wanted to create. I just hit Craigslist every day. Starting out, you gotta run through the mud for a while. Then you can like step up to the next level. I work with different musicians, DJs, pop artists, Porter Robinson, Alice in Wonderland, Nightmare Slander, Palsy. I've literally shot hundreds of festivals in the past couple of years. Festivals in Japan, Coachella, Ultra, Glastonbury. Over a year, I might do multiple tours. Even in just this one month, I was in Texas for South by, I was in South America for Lollapalooza. I have 40 pairs of underwear <laughs> and 40 pairs of socks, so I can that last anyone. I'm going to Miami with a couple artists named Nightmare and Slander. They have a party they're gonna do on a boat. One of the best things with working with bigger artists is like figuring out what their story is and their vibe is and then tell that in the best way. Most of the time, I'll like figuring out what their story is before I get there. There's so many moving parts that it's really tough to always get all of them right. You make sure all your batteries are charged, you make sure your memory cards are clean, you make sure you have all your gear, you make sure all the screws are tight on the stabilizer. Keeping everything in the same bag helps. What sets anyone apart is the style that they cultivate. You can't start at the top. I'd worked so many different jobs, I really didn't like it. The first one that I got was filming a high school football team, and then it just started evolving. After being out here for a handful of years, I bought a vinyl with my photo on it, the cover of Alice in Wonderland's first album, just like holding it in my hand. It's insane. I don't think as an artist you're ever fully satisfied. I'm always ready to start working on the next thing. So I'm gonna keep going.